Today we're going to look at the features of one of our free virtual manipulatives available on the Didax website. You'll find a link to these tools right on our homepage, as well as some free activities that use the manipulatives. Let's see how the place value disks work. From the virtual manipulatives page, I'm going to navigate down to the place value disks tool. When I click on this, it will open in a new window, and I'll be able to use the place value disks to model different problems. Now when this opens, uh, it shows me a table or a grid that I can use to arrange the disks if I choose. I have some options with that grid. I have I can show ones to thousands. I can show ones to millions. If I click that box and click go, it'll change it so I can see all the way to millions. Or I can uh, choose to use this model if I'm working with decimal numbers that goes from thousandths up to ones. So you'll see in my place value disks we start at thousandths and I go all the way up to millions. Now I'm going to just turn the grid off so we can just look at how these disks work. And you can see I can just drag out place value disks one at a time until I can make a number uh, that I want to model. For example if I wanted to model the number 53 I could drag out five of these tens disks and then three of the white ones disks. And so I have my model there. You'll see as I drag these out or drag them around, they do snap into place to keep things organized. And I have some options with these as well. I can uh, use the eraser tool, of course, to remove these one at a time. And then I also have the reset button down here at the bottom, the red circle. If I click on that, it takes me back to my beginning page, clears everything off so that I can start a new problem. Thanks for watching, and remember that you can access all our free virtual manipulatives on our website, www.didax.com.